Yes, we are already talking skiing because whether ready or not, <laughs> snow is in the forecast. Oh, man. Meteorologist <laughs> Stacy Donaldson is here with your weekend forecast. Also, the timing of that cold. Stace? Yeah, it's hard to believe that this weekend will be right around 100 degrees for afternoon highs. And then by the beginning of next week, there's a chance for snow in the forecast with a very powerful cold front coming through Colorado. As we go through our morning tomorrow, it looks beautiful. 62 degrees at 7 a.m. We'll have 74 by 9 a.m. and 86 by 11 a.m. with sunny skies. Today, we were in the low 90s this afternoon, low 90s across the eastern plains, and mostly 80s and 90s through western Colorado, a little cooler in Leadville at 77. But our fire weather warnings have increased here across the northern half of the state as our fire danger increases with the heat and the low humidity levels. So everything shaded in red is a uh, fire weather warning. Everything in kind of that pink peachy color is a fire weather watch in effect through Sunday night and then an air quality warning here for the Denver area until four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So that's that smoke moving through along with the high ozone levels that comes with the heat and those uh, light winds here for our area. We still have some smoke for the front range, a little thicker off to the west of Fort Collins, as you see there. But otherwise, tonight we'll have lows around 60 degrees for our area. Upper 50s down through southeastern Colorado and 40s and 50s towards Steamboat, Eagle, and 51 in Aspen. It's going to be a beautiful day in the high country tomorrow. Temperatures up into the 70s by 11 a.m. And then we'll have 85 by 1 o'clock. And we'll mostly be in the 80s there, even toward Aspen as well. But for the front range, a hot one, 97 degrees in Denver. We'll have triple digits up into northeastern Colorado around Sterling and Ray, 100 for La Junta and 100 for Lamar. 97 here in Denver. And that's right around a record for tomorrow. So we'll watch for the next few days to see if we do break those records. But we have much cooler air coming this week, this upcoming week, on Monday night into Tuesday. This is what it's going to look like Monday night. That cold front it will be entering in the state. And as we get to Tuesday morning, here comes a little more snow. And then we'll see that kind of take over uh, for the Front Range up into the foothills and our northern mountains is where we'll see a higher amounts here in Denver, uh, mostly rain mixed with a few flakes at times. So overall, if you are worried about your sprinklers or your swamp coolers, you don't need to drain the system. This is going to be a really quick shot of cold air. So best thing to do is turn off the water to the system and then put blankets on the exposed pipes and be sure to cover any flowers or plants Monday into Tuesday so that they're protected from that cold air coming through. Our seven day forecast keeping us in the upper 90s for Saturday and Sunday, then 90 on Monday and our action day on Tuesday for that colder air moving in temperatures in the 40s. Then we'll have 50s on Wednesday and you see how quickly we recover from this 72 Thursday and 84 on Friday with sunny skies on the way. And we'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 